Hello, I am the Black and the Family Court. I understand that you guys are going for a custody and child support modification today. I just wanted to let you know how things are. What do you mean, Godfather? I am going to tell you how I want the hearing to come out. I don't give a rat's ass on who the best parent is. I want to know who I get the most money from. But Godfather, we are supposed to be advocating for the child in their best interest. Have you not been told to never go against the family? Who is the family, Godfather? Office of Child Support Enforcement, the judge, a psychologist, and the attorney at Lido. That is who. But we promised the child that she could live with her father and the mother is homeless, has two other babies and pregnant. That means that she could never pay any child support to the father at all. The child is very unhappy and the father wants the child even without her support. Both of the child's grandparents are doctors. That is even better. We can get far more money by keeping the child away from the father and his family. How do we make money off of that? Have you not heard of Title IV funding where the counties and the state gets money from extorting child support from the father? The judge set the father's child support without getting the proper documentation for review. What part of that makes it my problem? What the judge says is what it is. I don't give a crap about what the law is and neither does the judge. The father is trying to protect his daughter from being homeless and abused and spent thousands of dollars to get a fair trial. Does he know that we will never let that happen? Matter of fact, the judge is going to put a $10,000 bond on him just to see his child in the future. What? Is that legal? What is he going to do about it? Nobody cares and there is nobody he can report that to. So what do you want from us, Godfather? I want you to go into court and say and do anything you can to make this poor bastard look like shit. But that means we will have to lie about the father. And what is he going to do about it? We need him to pay for all the players in this game and screw him. This is the best racket going and it is legal. Won't the attorneys get to Sparta and the judge thrown off the bench? We could go to jail by being part of this. Do you know that I would never let that happen? Everyone in the family knows this game and will never investigate this racket. But what about the media? No problems there because we got that covered. We have reporters on the payroll. But what if the child is injured or ends up dead with the mother? Nobody will be held accountable for that. It is called judicial immunity which also means attorney ad litems. Psychologist and child protection. So all this is about money. Now you are getting it. For every dollar we collect in child support from the father, the government gives us up to a dollar to match it. Where does this money go? Does it go to enforce the visitation rights of the father when the mother refuses to let him see or talk to the child? God no. This money is our secret money. This money goes to the dues and hooker fund. What is the Booze and Hooker Fund? The Booze and Hooker Fund is money that we can spend without having to account for it and we are talking about millions of dollars. Who knows about these funds? Not many people do and we want to keep it that way. But how can we protect the child through all of this? This is an innocent child. We got that covered too. See if we run the father off and jail him for not paying child support we can take all the kids out of the abuse and neglectful home. But the father cannot pay child support if he's in jail. That is okay. We will add fines and interest to the child support and he will eventually pay. The Bradley Amendment helped us make sure that will happen. What is the Bradley Amendment? The Bradley Amendment says that the father will pay even if he is a hostage on foreign land, in a coma or in jail. We never dismiss back payments. What? I have heard of this. I know a guy that had to pay child support on a child that was not his. When he proved it was not his, they would not dismiss what they said he owed. That is right, little lady. And no, I am going to tell you that we are not entirely heartless bastards. How are you planning to do that? 
Once we have run off the father, we will turn on the mother and take all the kids into foster care. Why? We can get more money from the Title IV funds to run the corrupt foster care system. We will make the mother jump through unreasonable hoops to the children back. I see. So the psychologist, attorney A. D. Litens and others can make money off their services. That is correct. When the mother cannot do all these things, we start looking for adoptive families for the children. The father is no problem as we have put him out. Oh my God. Why would you do that? For each child we adopt out from foster care, we get four to eight thousand dollars a child from Title IV money. Is one of the children handicapped? One of the children is having trouble with speech and is a bit delayed. Great news. With the help of the child psychologist, we can label that child as special needs and get eight thousand when we adopt him out. But why don't we help the child now? He is living in abuse and that is why he is delayed. That is not my problem. My job is to fund the booze and hook a fund by collecting child support money through any means and adopting out children. What is our next step? What is our next step? You are to contact the judge, the attorneys and the psychologists to make sure that this comes off without a hitch. The father has an attorney that is newly out of law school and I don't think she knows how this works. What if she gives us problems? I have people that can handle that. If she does not play along she will never win a case before the judge ever again. That makes sense because there are only a few family judges in this county and she cannot avoid him. You are correct again. So, you have your orders and do not let me down. Poor father will not know what even hit him. Make sure that any evidence the father has is thrown out of court. We do not want to bother the appealing court. Again, tell me why that Judicial Disciplinary and Attorney Disciplinary Committee will not take action if the father complains. It is because they are a member of the mob. That stands for members of the bar. They will protect their own and never find corruption. That is the way it is and will be. All these agencies have access to the dues and hook up fund so we do not have to worry. We can launder this money through phantom programs. What are phantom programs? These are programs that look good on paper and tell everybody what they are doing for the good of society. Are they providing any benefits in these programs? Maybe for a couple of people. But if anyone asks the programs for help, the program will tell you what they do not deal with your sort of problem. I guess we need to go as we have our work cut out for us. Do not let me down as we need a steady cash flow and without my soldiers that could not be possible.